every image was made specifically for that record. So the only formula to it all was, I'd just communicate with the band as much as possible. I'd know the tracks inside out before time come to do the record sleeve. The further into the head of the person that you're working for, it's inevitable that the, the artwork's going to be better. Some bands were more involved than others. With Suede, for example, Brett Anderson had a pretty clear idea, so I was almost like a technician just realising this before. With Oasis, I was chiefly in charge of coming up with the concept, but Noel, every now and again, did throw something in. The same with the Verve, so I, I tried to keep away from a formula as much as possible because well, I didn't want the record sleeves to be, you know, obviously done by us, although if you look back, the kind of is a style running through them. I was in a lift wearing these Adidas Indoor Super and no sort of, you know, where do you get them shoes from? And then he said, you know, I've seen you around the building, he's like, what do you do? I said, well, design records things, I'm trying to, I've just started out. And what have you done? And I said, I have some early bird singles. Well, I've seen them, I like them. When, when we get, not if, when we get signed, I want you to do our artwork. That was it. If you think about the, shirt, the sleeve itself, it's kind of an anti-band shot, isn't it? You know, first album cover, and they're watching the telly. You know, I think it's funny. What I would always do when working with any band is ask them, do they have any ideas? Liam famously came up with the concept the, the album sleeve should have been a lump of butter with a knife in it. And I'll do that one day for some other band, but that, that was the only other alternative. It was either them lot shot in Bono's front room or a lump of butter with a knife in it. I'm a big believer that the image is king. You know, it's all about the image. Because I've seen untold examples of great record covers that are ruined by a badly applied typography. It's only pet hate. You know, you look at all the Oasis singles, it doesn't ever say what the title is. It's very, very confident of a young band not to put the title on the front cover. And most record companies just wouldn't have it. Thankfully, with Creation and Alan McGee, he just let us do what we wanted. And we never had any, any arguments about that. I used to buy records myself. And the point of a record sleeve, I think, is just added value to the customer. Because it costs just the same to make a bad record sleeve as a good one. It's just something, it's a bonus for a fan buying a record to get a good sleeve with it. One thing I can't stand is if you see, bands will often do an album and then singles off of it, the artwork is derived from the album sleeve. Should have, I just think it's lazy to start off. And you're narrowing down where you can go, where your, your creative possibilities are. Whereas that logo just basically widened everything open because that's the brand, that's it, just there, that little postage stamp in the corner. We could put anything we wanted to on the record sleeve and it was still instantly recognisable as, as an Oasis. Like with the Adidas brand, it, that is so strong that it can go anywhere, any size and any garment and boom, it's instant. And I never regarded it as a business. You know, I was creating pieces and if I had a 2,000 quid budget, wow, that was a fortune back then. There wasn't a clock put on it. I wouldn't be like, right, okay, I'll work until that, I'm up to my two grand limit. I'd work until I was happy that we got the job done. And I, that was the case if the budget was 50 quid. You know, the, the work that went into some of those early ones, just weeks worth of work. There's no way, I was probably on about 48 pence an hour or something, you know what I mean? So the money didn't really come into it. And I don't necessarily think being I was any more creative than definitely maybe. It's just bonkers, isn't it? You know?